I've always been a fan of fast food, especially late at night when my cravings hit hardest. Taco Bell was my go-to choice, with its cheesy, spicy delights that never failed to satisfy. Little did I know that one fateful night would turn my love for those fast food cravings into a nightmare that still keeps me up at night. It was a chilly evening in November, the kind of weather that makes you crave comfort food. I had been working late at the office, buried under a pile of deadlines, when I finally decided to call it a night. The clock struck midnight as I stepped out into the darkness, my breath forming misty clouds in the crisp air. The neon lights of the city illuminated the streets, casting eerie shadows that seemed to dance around me. My stomach rumbled loudly, reminding me that I hadn't eaten since lunch. I knew just the place to quiet its protests, the nearby Taco Bell that had become my late-night refuge. As I walked, the city's bustling sounds faded into the background, replaced by the soft echo of my footsteps on the deserted streets. The familiar glow of the Taco Bell sign beckoned me like a lighthouse guiding a ship through a storm. I quickened my pace, my hunger growing with each step. When I arrived, I was surprised to find the restaurant empty, devoid of the usual late-night crowd. The only person present was a tired-looking cashier behind the counter, his eyes heavy with fatigue. I approached the counter, feeling a shiver crawl down my spine as I noticed something off about the cashier's gaze. His eyes seemed to reflect an underlying tension like he was holding back some dreadful secret. Welcome to Taco Bell. What can I get for you tonight? He asked mechanically, his voice monotone. I placed my order, trying to shake off the unsettling feeling that had settled in the pit of my stomach. As I waited, the lights above me flickered intermittently, casting strange shadows that danced along the walls. My unease grew as I realized that I was the only customer in the restaurant, yet the cashier's eyes never left me. Finally, my order was ready. I grabbed the bag, offering a forced smile to the cashier who responded with a curt nod. I hurried to a corner booth, my footsteps echoing unnaturally in the empty space. The aroma of tacos and nachos filled the air, momentarily distracting me from the sense of unease that had settled over me. I took a bite of a taco, the familiar flavors momentarily comforting me, but that comfort was short-lived as a faint whisper reached my ears. It was a hushed, indistinct murmur, like voices carried by the wind. I looked around, expecting to see other customers, but the restaurant remained empty. I brushed it off as my imagination, a result of exhaustion and the eerie atmosphere. Yet, as I continued eating, the whispers persisted, growing louder and more distinct. I strained to make out the words, feeling a bead of sweat form on my forehead despite the cool air. You shouldn't have come here, a voice hissed, its tone dripping with malevolence. The whisper seemed to come from all directions, as if the very walls were taunting me. Panic seized me, and I jumped up from my seat, knocking over the half-eaten taco. The lights above flickered wildly, casting erratic shadows that seemed to writhe and contort. I stumbled backward, my heart pounding in my chest, and made a beeline for the exit. But as I reached the door, a bone-chilling gust of wind slammed it shut with a deafening bang. I turned around, my eyes wide with terror, to find the cashier standing near the counter, his gaze fixed on me. His lips curled into a sinister smile, revealing teeth that seemed unnaturally sharp. Hungry, aren't you? He sneered, his voice dripping with malice. I backed away slowly, my mind racing for a way out. The whispers had grown into a cacophony of voices, each one urging me to run to escape the clutches of this nightmarish place. My heart pounded like a drum in my chest, and a cold sweat soaked my shirt. Desperation took over as I scanned the restaurant for any means of escape. The windows were locked, and the only exit was blocked by the cashier. 
With a surge of adrenaline, I grabbed a chair and hurled it at the window, shattering the glass. But as I leaped through the opening, I found myself back inside the restaurant, as if the window had never existed. A hysterical laugh bubbled up from within me as I realized the futility of my attempts. This place, this Taco Bell, was a trap, a nightmarish loop from which there was no escape. The voices grew louder, their words twisted into a grotesque chorus that echoed in my head. As the night stretched on, the walls seemed to close in, the shadows growing longer and more sinister. The cashier's face morphed, his features contorting into a grotesque mask that seemed to mock my fear. I stumbled backward, my back hitting the wall, and sank to the ground, my breath coming in ragged gasps. Time lost all meaning as I sat there, trapped in that nightmarish cycle. The whispers continued, their words tearing at my sanity, unraveling my grip on reality. My mind became a swirling vortex of terror, and I clung to my last shreds of sanity. And then, as abruptly as it had begun, the whispers ceased. The light steadied, casting a dim glow on the deserted restaurant. The cashier's malevolent gaze softened, his face returning to its tired, weary expression. Closing time, he muttered, his voice devoid of the earlier hostility. I blinked, disoriented and shaken, as the restaurant's lights flickered and went out. When they came back on, the cashier was gone, and I found myself standing alone in the Taco Bell. The night had ended. The ordeal was over. I stumbled out of the restaurant, my legs wobbly and my mind reeling. The first light of dawn was breaking, and the city was slowly coming to life. As I walked away from that Taco Bell, I couldn't shake the feeling that I had narrowly escaped something unspeakably terrifying. To this day, I can't pass by a Taco Bell without feeling a shiver crawl down my spine. The memory of that night lingers, a chilling reminder of the depths of fear that can be reached within the confines of the mundane. I've never been able to explain what happened that night, and I'm not sure I ever will. But one thing's for certain, my late night fast food cravings will never be the same again.